Hello everyone, Elon Musk's views on life on Mars are the most ambitious plan any modern leader has put forward. According to him, within the next 50 years, there could be a million people living and working happily on another planet. Yes, a second home for the human race. It's really a wild idea, and frankly, he's not the first person to have this idea. But so far, he's the only one with enough money, resources, and determination to actually achieve it. Right now, we are not far enough in this matter, but we can say that the seeds of life on Mars have been planted. So, what exactly will we do when we get there and what will life on Mars really be like? Well, no one has done anything like this before, so no one can say for sure, but there are really great ideas about this topic, and frankly, it's quite fun to think about them. Yes, in today's video, we will talk about what life on Mars will be like. Let's get started. Actually, if you think about it, the basic logic of taking people and goods to Mars is quite simple, and we can say this thanks to the contributions of SpaceX. SpaceX is used for transportation between Earth and Mars. This spaceship is identical to the SN15 prototype we watched successfully take off and land, and it will be the main vehicle used in the plan to move to Mars. The vehicle is a rocket ship made of stainless steel, capable of taking off from a planet, flying in space, and returning without completely breaking down. The spaceship can do the same thing over and over again with just a pit stop for refueling between flights. A rocket like this has never been successfully made before. So, this was really an important step. Starship will serve as a ferry between Earth and Mars, mainly carrying people, but mostly filled with material. On the other hand, the ship can carry a payload of 100 tons per flight, which can be likened to about 50 Tesla Model 3 cars. When Earth and Mars come closest to each other once every two years, there will be a seven-month journey. In the first phase, there will only be a few ships to test the waters, but after a few cycles, thousands of ships will be sent from Earth to Mars. So, what will living on Mars be like? Frankly, no one thinks Mars will be a nice and comfortable place to live, meaning life will be quite difficult. Firstly, the average temperature will hover around minus 60 degrees Celsius, but during the summer months, there can be a pleasant maximum temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius at the planet's equator. This is quite nice, but of course, don't think that you can take your drink every day and spend time on a sun lounger. Mars's atmosphere is mostly made up of carbon dioxide, and the volume of atmospheric gas is less than 1% of Earth's. In addition to all this, let's not forget to mention that there is nothing to protect the surface of Mars from cosmic radiation. This isn't very clear, is it? On the other hand, we know the Sun contributes to our life on Earth. So much so that our atmosphere can block all the harmful radiation that would either kill us or turn us into superheroes when exposed. Of course, someone has to test this first. On the other hand, gravity on Mars is very weak. Because Mars is much smaller than Earth. Therefore, its gravity is only about a third of Earth's. This could actually be good for us because after a seven-month space flight, the human body significantly weakens. Therefore, regaining strength on Mars will be easier than on Earth. But after spending a long time on Mars, returning to Earth could pose significant challenges. Another problem is the epic dust storms that can sometimes cover the entire planet. Dust will definitely be a big problem on Mars. Remember in the movie, Mars, where Matt Damon got into trouble? Exactly because of this, the man was caught in a dust storm and got stranded when all his belongings blew away. But yes, if you've noticed, it's just a movie. So in real life, the wind on Mars wouldn't be as big a problem as it's made out to be. We said Mars has a thin atmosphere. So even in a crazy 100 km dust storm on the planet, the wind blows at only about 60 km per hour. However, the dust will definitely be a real problem. Dust can get everywhere, that is, inside all our equipment, and everything needs to be properly insulated. For example, keeping solar panels clean will be very difficult. So overall, dust storms will significantly affect life, 
but not like the scene in Mad Max where everyone was destroyed. Compared to this scene, the storm will be much more tame. So we can't exactly say that Mars will be a safe place. And as Elon Musk said, people on this planet will probably die. Of course, we're not talking about a mass death, but rather accidents that constantly happen to people will result in deaths. Therefore, the margin of error in everything on Mars will be quite weak. Even a small error or equipment malfunction could be fatal. Elon Musk mentioned in a CNN interview that he would personally go to Mars if he knew SpaceX would continue after his death. So even he is not very optimistic about the chances of survival on the planet. So, is there anything we can do to make Mars a better place for people to live? Of course, Elon has a crazy idea in his mind, bomb Mars. Unbelievably, in August 2019, he tweeted to support the idea of making the red planet similar to Earth. And yes, this tweet was about bombing the planet. It's very obvious that this is an extreme solution, and scientists are divided on the idea. However, there is some science behind the proposition. Once, if you detonate a set of nuclear bombs over the polar regions of Mars, you could melt the produced frozen water and leave a lot of stored carbon dioxide and water vapor in the Martian atmosphere. In theory, all this newly released gas will increase the density of Mars' atmosphere and probably start heating the planet, initiating a greenhouse effect. This is a logical idea on a basic scale. So it's not entirely sci-fi. However, whether Elon is serious about this idea is hard to be sure. On the other hand, a study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research in 2018 concluded that Mars does not have enough stored carbon dioxide. However, this was not about this release situation. Other scientists note that even if there was enough gas for this idea to work, everything could backfire and cause a nuclear winter event. If the explosion increases the Mars dust enough, it can cover the entire planet and block the sun for years. Therefore, we probably have to deal with Mars being an uninhabitable wasteland for the foreseeable future. And if that's the case, then how can we live on Mars? The best solution everyone can understand would be for us to live in domes, in earth eggs, or underground. Thus, we could all live under a series of shields on Mars. Just like in a Stephen King. Obviously, this won't be a big, flawless dome, and there's no easy way to transport it to Mars. Also, the dome needs to be modular, like a honeycomb pattern. Of course, we can stack the round parts of the dome inside the spaceship like in Pringles cans. When the vehicle reaches Mars, we open the top and start building the domes. We believe Elon Musk is still optimistic about the possibility of flights reaching Mars by 2026. However, to be more realistic, the project will likely materialize around 2030. Still, there's nothing wrong with being hopeful. Opportunities for mass migration from Earth to Mars for ordinary people might arise in the 2040s. Musk wants to enrich the planet by offering good jobs on Mars. After really intelligent people set things up, you won't even need to be a genius to be useful on Mars. There will be plenty of opportunities for farmers, tradespeople, mechanics, and even YouTubers. People will definitely want to seek Mars vlogs. On the other hand, the fact that Earth and Mars will be closer than usual in the next few decades is a great opportunity. This closeness will reduce the journey from 7 months to 5, and scientists see this as an opportunity for large groups of people to migrate at once. The most significant event will probably be delayed until 2051. By then, SpaceX should have built thousands of starships. Maybe by then, they might invent something even better. Who knows? Furthermore, there should be a ready and legal city for us to live on Mars. Therefore, in 30 years, tens of thousands of people might leave Earth to live on Mars, possibly forever. Considering the journey, we don't expect a return ticket. It's strange to think that there might be people born on Mars who have never seen Earth. We can't even know if these Martians can come to Earth because a person born on Mars would be much weaker. Earth's gravity would negatively affect the frail bodies of these Martians. 
All these thoughts are crazy, aren't they? That brings us to the end of our video. Please share your dreams and scientific thoughts about Mars in the comments. See you in the next video, goodbye.